Hey, next ski area is to open tomorrow. Crested Butte and Steamboat will open for the season. And then uh, on Thanksgiving itself, Snowmass and Telluride will both open. Looks like a powder day uh, for the first day for those two ski areas. And Friday, Ski Cooper and Echo Mountain will both open for the season. We're getting closer and closer to being 100% open across Colorado. 50 degrees, our normal high temperature this time of year. We've been building toward that ever since the weekend. Uh, you undoubtedly remember that rather miserable day we had on Saturday. Technically, it was 34, but most of the day we were in the 20s. Sunday was 48, and then uh, yesterday we reached 49. Today, at least 55. We've already, in fact, reached 55 at the airport, so we'll probably get a little higher than that. Tomorrow, 60. It's possible some of us could hit 60 today, but most of us will have to wait until tomorrow to hit 60 degrees. Satellite, not showing anything. We have clear skies from the Utah state line all the way over to the Nebraska and Kansas state lines. And again, as we look around the country, there's no big storm systems. Sure, in the Great Lakes, they got a little bit of snow, but it's really not much. There's still some snow up in New England and there's some rain down in Florida, but no major paralyzing storm system anywhere that's going to just cause traffic, uh, travel to just go to a halt. We do have this storm system that's about 600 miles off the uh, coast of California. It is making its way east, and it's the first of two storms that we're watching out in the Pacific Ocean. There's that second storm. This is Thursday, 5 p.m., so 5 p.m. Uh, on Thanksgiving. That first storm will be over Utah by that point, and the second storm will be in the Seattle-Portland area. We'll still be mainly dry. Uh, through much of the day on Thanksgiving all across Colorado. And with that first storm, I think we'll stay completely dry for Denver in the Front Range. But from Thursday afternoon through Thursday night, our mountains will see about three to six inches of snow. So it's not a huge storm, but it's enough to maybe cause a few travel issues. The second storm is much stronger. That one gets here Friday evening through Saturday. We're looking at six to 12 inches of snow with that second one. And we will have the chance for some rain or snow in Denver with that second storm. Uh, that would be during the day on Saturday. If we get any snow here, the accumulation is going to be really limited. For the most part, these are going to be mountain storms. Temperatures today topping out in the 50s. Again, for lower elevations, we'll see 40s in the mountains, about 57 or so out of DIA this afternoon. Tomorrow, 60 degrees, Britt, and then about 60 or so on Thanksgiving. That's 10 degrees above normal for Turkey Day here in the Mile High City. A mix of sun and clouds. Friday looks good for shopping, 57. And then I mentioned that chance for some rain or snow that could come our way on Saturday. So we'll be watching that. We've got the Rams traveling to the Air Force Academy in Colorado Springs on Thanksgiving kickoff temperature 58 degrees really nice for that game and then the Broncos on Sunday looks dry against the Steelers but it'll be chilly temps in the 30s Ooh. at mile high and of course that game right here on CBS 4 on Sunday all right you need to bundle up for that one yeah.